Welcome to warn, frantic race for aircraft carriers advantage India. Ever since China unveiled its first indigenous aircraft carrier, a whirlwind of debates engulfed the Indian strategic circles. Some lamented the loss of strategic edge enjoyed by India so long. Some suggested India building more nuclear submarines instead of the white elephants called aircraft carriers. Some pointed out the vulnerability of the aircraft carriers and the possibility of billions of rupees sinking into the sea along with the sinking of the carriers. But all these inferences are fallacious and can easily be discounted. Before jumping to any conclusion, one should take into consideration the changing and volatile strategic landscape of the globe which includes the rise of China as a superpower along with the rise of PLA Navy, the ever-increasing number of Chinese bases in Asia, Africa and Latin America, the crystallizing anti-China quad consisting of the US, Japan, Australia and India, and the soon-to-be operational East LEMOA between the US and India. Regarding the temporary loss of strategic edge by India, India's reported overdrive to test and build carrier-killing missiles using the BrahMos, Shriya and K-15 platforms can be cited. This will effectively deter the Chinese carrier battle group. Aircraft carriers are undoubtedly a visible symbol of a nation's strength, an instrument of power projection and sea control and a vehicle of immense firepower. Aircraft carrier is a huge psychological weapon which induces fear in the minds of the adversaries. Though nuclear submarines are potent deterrent, they should and cannot be compared to the carriers. In fact, they are not mutually exclusive, rather they are complementary. Regarding vulnerability, it can be affirmed that aircraft carrier is supported by a carrier battle group which includes submarines and minesweepers. Besides the carrier itself has air defense system to protect itself. India will get Israeli system for its first indigenous aircraft carrier. Again Japan, the leading submarine hunter, is training India in the field of anti-sub warfare. Besides the Malabar exercise will include anti-sub warfare. So it will not be easy to sink Indian aircraft carriers. Besides destroying carriers will entail a huge retaliation. Considering the rise of China and its repeated incursion into the Indian Ocean, India has already factored the possibility of a sea war with China and no platform can be more potent than aircraft carrier. Besides, China still lacks the sophistication in its aircraft carrier's technology as well as in its carrier-based fighters. India has already secured approval from the US for the much-coveted EMALS and AAG technology which the French, Japanese and Brazilian Navy has sought. The EMALS technology will allow India to launch unmanned aircraft from carriers too. Thus the carriers will be a potent platform for hybrid warfare. Besides, India has the chance to select the US-built F-35C fifth generation stealth fighter, also called the flying computer, as its carrier-borne fighters. Again as reported, if India goes for nuclear propulsion for its IAC-2 Vishal, the nuclear reactor design and building will prove to be valuable experience for India in building N reactor for its nuclear submarines. The apparent revival of the democratic quad consisting of the US, Japan, India and Australia and the soon-to-be operational East LEMOA between the US and India, and later a LEMOA clone between India and Australia, will necessitate the existence of Indian aircraft carriers on the Indo-Pacific waters. This will ensure interoperability among the four. Again in case of an Indo-China war scenario, aircraft carriers will be used to block oceanic trade routes used by China. In case of huge natural catastrophes like tsunami, flood or cyclone, aircraft carriers can be the most useful tool for humanitarian assistance. So the aircraft carriers are not white elephants. Rather they are futuristic vehicle which will witness futuristic and innovative uses. It is for this reason that Russia, France, Britain, Italy and the US are rushing after the carriers. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. 
Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.